Hey, what's up, YouTube? I uh, just want to make this video to talk about my Rolex Sprite GMT and the strap I got it on. I got this strap from Evers Bands. Um, I had it on Oyster Bracelet originally, but I was getting a bit of a rash from wearing it right here, right around the corner of my uh, wrist. So, yeah, it looks like I don't do good with stainless steel. But it's only that part, not the top part. Only like on the top corner, like towards the thumb part of my wrist. So that's why I wanted to get a strap for it because I really want to just keep wearing this watch, you know. Um, as you can see, the only bad part I don't like about this strap it's not the quality because the quality is really good but the coloring it's much darker than the bezel the bezel is much lighter as you can tell I don't know maybe the lighting there you go but like in person the bezel is much lighter but it does match the GMT hand so at least it looks like it's the same color as the GMT hand and another reason I got this uh, Sprite model. Um, I didn't buy this. Uh, I didn't get this new because, you know, can't really get these things new. Oh, let me put it on. You can't really buy these watches new unless you spent like 100k or whatever. So, got it pre-owned from a like brick and mortar pre-owned shop and uh, yeah I like it it's very good I also liked it because the crown is on the other side it's always bothered me how the crown digs into my hand so that was a big plus and yeah everything else is good I like the GMT function um, I was gonna get the Starbucks but a lot of people have it so I didn't want to go that route because of that and this might be rare in the future maybe if they discontinue it um, so yeah when it comes to my skin issue I'll probably be looking more into titanium watches um, one one that I'm looking at I might get the uh, long jeans Spirit Zulu Time, the 39 mil one. That that's one. That one's sick. So that's next to my radar. So yeah, that is all. You guys have a good one.